Hi everyone, this is a Psychic Sleuth, and I'm going to be doing uh, matches for Sid Buchanan. Now, she actually did come into my readings. I was going to do a reading on her, but I didn't get a chance to before she was found. It was kind of rushed um, as far as I was feeling rushed, but I just didn't get to it. I was in the midst of working on Susan, and it was just... I just didn't get to it. I was actually going to work on it the day that they found her, but... Um, Anyways, it just didn't happen. Um, so, but I did notice that she did come in in a few different readings very strongly. Um, she's been coming in since probably about Erica's, maybe even before then, because something that is around her also came in in Cheryl's way back when. So, um, the very last word that I got in Erica's was Buchanan. And it was brought to my attention later on that Sid was missing in my group it was brought to my attention um i also got 94 i saw that 94 runs this way on the map um that's where you take to get there uh looks like from i guess i think it's indiana or something like that also 294 is right there as well now thorn okay so thorn i didn't put in a reading but as i was trying to tell you guys i do get draws to areas or to words, I should say, on a map or wherever. I will get draws to it. And it ends up matching up somewhere. Um, at the time, I don't know why I get it, but here's a screenshot I have. And hopefully you guys can see it. It's the best I can do. So this was the 28th of July. Um, if you guys can see it, it says Thorn. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Um... I am very clumsy. So, Thorn was a name that I was drawn to. It's backwards on there. And you can see it was done on July 28th in the group. It was an Erica's group because I was drawn to it when we were talking about Erica, which we know that it's going to be an interconnect because of the situation. They both went missing after a concert, so therefore the cases are similar, so they're probably going to interconnect. Um, also that area, it's, it's Thornton, but the area is off of Thorn Creek Road. Also, there are Thorn names there. I got Ridge Road in Susan, or Ridge in Susan. There's a cross street Ridge Road, very close. Uh, Riverdale came in Mackenzie and Susan. There's a Riverdale close by. Uh, one came in Susan's first reading. There is a one road that crosses there, 53, that I got, and Susan runs through Gary. 57 I got through Susan is around there. Hammond, the very beginning, and Erica um, is there. It's up, you know, it's just the surrounding area. Like I try to tell you guys, I get surrounding areas, things that are past. Looks like that's in Indiana. Um, and then there's the 94 again. All kinds of wood names, Glenwood, Linwood, uh, Homewood, and Susan, she mentioned wood, like something wood, plus there's more wood names. There's also a lake that came in Susan. Franklin is nearby. That was off of Erica. Hickory Park is near there. Um, Hickory came in Cheryl a long time ago, but it came again in Erica. And then it came again. We did another reading um, for Cheryl. So also the violence towards women, possibly rape and possibly murder that came in Erica is probably for both of these men. And that's why it's an interconnect. An interconnect. And what I mean by that is that it can go for either case or both. Um, and usually it seems to happen when the cases are similar or it's around the same time or I really don't know. We're still trying to figure it and understand it. Um, and there's also the beach that was mentioned in Erica's. This is not far from the beach or far from water that is like beach. Um, so <laughs> reference also in, um, Erica, the very last reading, there was a reference to a party where she stormed off. I think that that might have been um, Buchanan, Sid, because it really doesn't kind of fit there. Um, I got piles of sand back in Cheryl. There is a place right across from this preserve that has that. And also Ranch. There is a ranch right next to that. And Ranch came in a lot in Erica. It still may make sense for Erica. There could be an interconnect, like I said. A Cherokee and Indian reference in Cheryl and Susan and a few other places. The um, There are names 
that are like that around the concert area that she was at. Glenn came and Cheryl, and then I'm sure there's more, um, but this is what I could find. Uh, she took over a few readings, and sadly I didn't get to her in time, but she was definitely reaching out, so I apologize for not getting to her before she was found. But she did reach out, and from what we could what we could find, if I would have done a reading, we would have been able to pinpoint her, because she basically said with a thorn where she was. Um, so... I just wanted to do a, re a video on her. I feel very bad for not getting to her in time. I feel like I need to be five people, <laughs> you know, split up so I could do more readings. Um, but thank you all for liking and subscribing. This was just a quick validation. See you next time.